Okay, so here's the weekend update on the Buffalo rifle. Um, the scope base came in. And this one does fit the rings like it's supposed to. Um, if you look at it, it's curved on the bottom. And it's a little bit too wide. Um, just a second here and I'll see if I can show you one-handed what the difference is. always harder than you might think to do this okay pull that off of there and what we ended up is 0 0.509 that's the width of the base and then here if I can get this lined up Right there, we're at approximately 436. It's kind of hard to measure on, on a sloped surface. But I'm thinking that if I take, um, put this in a, in, a, uh, in a milling machine and mill the sides off at 30 degree angles on both sides, um, and then come back with a regular um probably half inch end mill and take off from the bottom till it's flat or just barely has a tiny just bit of groove on it then that will allow the screw to have full depth when it's screwed in and i can also offset this scope enough so that it will clear the hammer so i've got an appointment in the morning with a gunsmith um and I'm going to take all this junk with me. And he's going to uh, do the milling on, the, on, the, on that base. Um, and drill and tap the holes for me. Um, and then when I get back home, then I'll, the places where it's aluminum, I'll get some black clacker and, and lacquer it up. Um, also, I ordered a, a bullet mold. And I don't know how good this is going to work. Let's see. Hopefully, you can read that with my phone in the way at least you can see what it kind of looks like um, let me see if I can zoom in on this that might actually be a little better so it's got a hollow base it's got two very small engraving bands um, and no grease grooves and I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing um, <coughs> is powder coating this um, and uh, that will completely stop the leading and all I have to do um, is put a little bit of um, tallow and beeswax mix uh, in, the, in that hollow base that's on the, that you see on the left um, and uh, uh, that'll help keep the fouling soft and, and he shouldn't even have to, to clean the barrel for the first four or five shots he can probably just dump, dump a charge of powder down the barrel um, thumb this in use a regular ball starter with a with a cone tip um, and then ram it home with that ram ramrod that you saw that I made and he should be good uh, it'll be a lot faster and uh, to load and it should be quite accurate um, anyway that's all I have for now um, if you have comments or questions go ahead and ask I'm always happy to answer um, but for right now, that's, that's all I have. Thanks.